are owned by the government. It's just like a public transport scheme owned by the government that's been here for about two weeks. Yeah. About two weeks, so people are enjoying it. I'm going to do a video about this public transport system separately. So stay tuned. I will show you how this operates. I will take a ride in it to another part of the city. Would you like to see that? Drop a comment. Let me know. I promised you guys I was going to make a separate video on the public bus system in Kinshasa. So here we are today. Guys, so today I'm at Place des Obolier. I'm going to take a bus from here all the way to our tour guide is behind us. So he's going to tell us, but we are going to take this ride from here basically. And we are going to drive all the way down. So I just want to get an experience of how it is in the public bus here. Like I told you, it is owned by the government and they move from different parts of the city. So today from Place de Zobolier, we are going to drive to where we are going. So come with me. First of all, before you go in, you have to join the queue and on the queue, when it gets to your turn, you buy the ticket there and then you enter. You can see there is, is written on tray and then at the back there is sortie. That is enter, that's the entrance yeah. and the exit. Yeah, yeah on tray sortie, entrance, exit. Okay. So we are going to go now and have a ride. Come join us. Are you guys enjoying my Congo Kinshasa vlogs already? Drop a comment, let me know if you enjoy. We are here. I'm not jumping the queue, guys. We are actually behind her. We told her we are behind her before we stood there to make our video. So I'm back to my rightful position. I'm not jumping queue before you guys come for me. Yeah. So let's wait until it's our turn. Hope you don't jump queue in your country. Don't. It's not good. <laughs> The bus has left, the steel dog seat has gone. So we we'll wait for another one. I like how everybody still come on the queue. So another one is for me. Okay. I can see another one passing. Oh, it's not stopping here. So we are going to wait. The one will join the queue to enter. The board has gone. Let's wait for the second one. Right, so this is what I've been handed. I don't know if this is a ticket number or a seat number. But when the second bus comes and I get the entrance, I guess I'll be told what to do with it. So this is basically yes, the bus. Camera for me. Yeah, so another bus is here. This is it. So hopefully, yeah, we are going to move this one. Oh, on, 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 on. Guys, so this is how it works. When you board, you, when you come in, you pay at the entrance and then come in. So once you come in, you, you hand the card at the entrance and then you come in, pay to the cashier sitting there before you board the bus to where you are going. So that's basically what I've done. Now I'm seated as well. Once everybody boards and the bus is filled up, then we can take off. I love this. It's so orderly, um, no commotion, everything is going seamlessly. The fare is 500 Congolese francs, that's how much we paid, so to where we are going. This is the ticket that you are giving. Siri D Transco. So once you pay the 500 Congolese francs, this is the ticket you are issued for the trip. It is valid for a single trip. This is Emerald. She has been my camera assistant. She has been so helpful. Say hello. Hello. She, unfortunately, she doesn't speak English. She only speaks French. But she has been so awesome. If you like this vlog, know that she's the one who has been assisting with holding the camera and also yeah tell them to abonne uh tell them in french je vous demande de vous abonner massivement sur cette chaîne grâce grace yes ne pas je ne serai pas de sens c'est des surprises qui vous attendent et je vous tu tu comprends d'accord subscribe <laughs> guys i told you before i leave kinshasa i will be fluent in speaking french so get ready me. I can see it seems like some people are going to be standing. Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs>
So driving along the way, one wouldn't help but notice the fact that the roads are wide and smooth, no potholes. I don't know if it's the same for the roads all across the city, but for the ones I've, I've applied so far, I can say for a fact that they are wide and they are smooth. And then another thing is, with this BRT, they do not have their exclusive lanes, so they get to use the same roads as the other commuters. And what that means is that when they get stuck in traffic, you're also going to be stuck in traffic, yeah? So get ready for that. Um... What else? The fare to me is also reasonable. And yeah, that's it. So what do you think about this BRT system? Do you have any in your country? Have you taken a drive in it? Drop a comment. What do you think? Um, for those of you from Kinshasa, have you taken a ride in these public buses before? How was your experience like? How much did you pay? Where did you go to? Drop a comment. I would like to know. For me, I've enjoyed the ride. I've had a good time. <music>